Hi guys, I'm Nazmul Hassan, and this is going to be the second part of Vival Dentina design in CST. In the last video, I showed you how to make a Vival from the very scratch in CST, and if you didn't watch it, you should watch that one first. Alright, let's open our Vival which we made in our last video. Before doing the simulation, we need to define the range of frequency for simulation. This antenna has an impedance bandwidth of 5 GHz from 38 to 43 GHz, so I will use 30 to 60 GHz of range. Using too large range of frequency will take a lot of time if your computer is just a desktop or your personal computer. Usually industries and research groups use powerful dedicated servers, for example, I'm using a server with a RAM of 128 GB, which is perfect for such heavy calculation. So defining a large frequency range in my case is not a problem at all, but you might use a smaller range if you are using your desktop. Okay, now let's create a port for running a simulation. So zoom this area so that the face is visible and pick this face and go to macros and then solver here and then ports and calculate port coefficient yeah this one okay so now you can see that all the fields are already entered automatically so you have to just calculate the port coefficient k right this is our k you can use the exact value or you can change a little bit no problem at all now we will define a new parameter to save this value let's define it here k i will use 4.43 that looks good Okay, now with this being selected, you have to make a port. So go to webguide port and notice the orientation of the axis. It's very important. Okay. Uh, actually, the x minimum corresponds to the negative x axis and x maximum corresponds to positive x axis. You know these things, right? And if you don't know these things, please watch my other tutorials from the very beginning. You will learn from the very uh, basic steps of manipulating 3D geometry and other stuff in CST. So here, okay, you can see preview and press OK to complete. So this is our port. The red marked region is our port. Now let's enable the boundary box, which is a PML or perfectly matched layer, which is used to mimic the continued wave propagation in computers finite screen space and make sure the settings are like this okay after that we will define field monitors frequencies they provide us various plots at the defined frequencies. So let me check the field monitors. I will define at 40 gigahertz a far field plot and another at 42 gigahertz and another maybe 45 gigahertz. Okay so these are the three far field monitors and you can delete the other one unnecessary one. All right now we will start the simulation. So CST Transient Solver divides the entire 3D model into tiny grid and solves maximum situations at each grid and then find out the field vectors at those grids. 
So that's how it works. So you can see the simulation is running. I will pause here and I will come back after it is complete. Alright, simulation is complete. Now let's check the reflection coefficient that is S11. And let's enable axis marker. Yeah, so you know that how to measure the bandwidth. If you don't know, you can watch the other tutorials of CST. This is the minus 10 dB line, and this point is 38.2, sorry, 82 gigahertz, and this point is 43.35 gigahertz. So roughly, you can say that the antenna has an impedance bandwidth of 38 to 43 gigahertz, right? Now we can see the far fields, the radiation plot. There you go. You can see the radiation plot. Red is the maximum radiation intensity and it is along x axis. It is clearly an N fire radiation. And if you're not familiar with these terms, you can check it from any antenna textbook. And you can see the ghost profile of the antenna to better visualize the whole thing. Just select this. Now we can see the slot is radiating. So that marks the successful design of Vivald antenna in CST. So congratulations again, you learn how to design a Vivaldin CST. So as I pointed out earlier in my previous video that this is the one and only video in the entire planet internet that actually shows you how to design a Vivaldi right from the scratch. Well, the internet is getting like a virtual planet, right? So thank you again for watching and I will hope that you will like and share and subscribe my videos. Thanks again.